Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Well, if you have ever wondered how to properly schedule all your Jira issues heading a team, this video is for you. Calendar for Jira is a great tool either for visualizing or planning every Jira task your team could have, as well as it is handy for workload allocating and appointments arranging with a team or clients. Today I will guide you through the case where you need to keep tracking whether the people from your team meet timeframes or something goes wrong. It is a common practice to easily find out the weaknesses and shortcomings of scheduling. For this purpose, we'll create and configure a calendar with the deadlines for every task your team member has. This is a bunch of issues from my sales project that I need to allocate among the team at first and then track if a person in charge or assignee missed a specified due date. Let's go to the calendar and create it. So I click Create New, specify the name for this project, choose the scope of issues I'd like to display, in my case it would be project and sales project in particular. And now I need to specify the dates this calendar will be based on. As it was mentioned before, I'd like to control deadlines, therefore I choose due date. And here we have our calendar created. So how does it work? If you already use due date field in the issues, those issues will appear in the calendar grid immediately, like here. If the due date is not specified, you'll see the issues on the right section called Unplanned Issues area. This is the issue card, and this is the issue preview. Issues cards and preview layout is pretty configurable. You can add up to three additional fields to be displayed for the issue card and some more for the issue preview. Let's try. For instance, it is important for me as a team manager to track the current issue status as well as the key and the issue type. Also, I would like to see more information on the preview like reporter and label, while status and assignee are already known from the card. And now we can see changes applied on the issue card and on the issue preview. Click on a card to see preview and click on the issue key to open the issue itself. Moreover, you can colorize issue cards. It might be quite useful if you need to be focused on the high priority tasks. For this purpose, I go to the card color settings and specify the rules. And the first rule is for my high priority tasks. Let's make them red. In addition, I have some issues labeled and would like to set their colors as well just in order to visually differentiate them. And now we have set of our rules. You can easily drag and drop them in order to change the importance. Also, please note, an issue will be colorized by the first rule it matches on the list. Let's try to apply them. Here are our high priority tasks colorized red and all the other ones. On top of that, there is a quick filter feature supported. You can filter issues by assignee using predefined filter or you can make up your own using JQL. Go to the quick filter setting and specify the rule. For example, I'd like to add a quick filter for all the overdue issues. Let's try to apply it. Here is my filter appeared. Here is the result. I have one overdue issue. 
Sometimes it is more convenient for planning to utilize timeline views. There are several options available for month, week, day and year views. Let's look a bit closer at a timeline month view. On the left section we can see our team members as assignees. On the main grid we can replan issues, assign it from the unassigned line, or plan the issue by drag and drop it from the right side and plant issues area. Let's make sure that all the changes we applied has the same results in the issue. For example, we replant send the invoice issue for the 4th of August. Let's check the issue itself. Correct. Also, we assigned previously unassigned issue and now it should be carried out by Lia user. Let's check it. That's correct. Also, we planned previously unplanned issue for this date. And that is also correct. And that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoy the app and see you next time. Bye!